US displayed the U-2 Dragon Lady at Riyadh 2025, and why it still matters today. Welcome to Global Defense News and Analysis. At the 2025 Royal International Air Tattoo, RIAT, in RAF Fairford, the United States Air Force made a bold and symbolic move. It put the legendary U-2 Dragon Lady on full display. Far from being a retired relic of Cold War espionage, the U-2's presence served a dual purpose, to showcase cutting-edge aerial surveillance capabilities and reaffirm the aircraft's ongoing relevance in modern warfare. In an era defined by hypersonic weapons, space-based surveillance and artificial intelligence, the U-2's continued deployment reflects its unique and evolving strategic value. The theme for RIAT 2025, Eyes in the Skies, focused on intelligence, surveillance, reconnaissance, ISR, and maritime patrol platforms. The U-2's inclusion, alongside newer platforms like the RC-135 Rivet Joint and MQ-9 Reaper drones, was not merely ceremonial. It was a clear message that the Dragon Lady, first introduced in 1955, has adapted to modern demands. Its ability to fly above 70,000 feet allows it to gather real-time data well beyond the reach of many adversarial systems. Unlike satellites, which have fixed orbits and predictable visibility windows, the U-2 can be retasked quickly, providing commanders with flexible and persistent ISR capabilities. Riot 2025 marked one of the rare times the U-2 appeared at a European airshow, a deliberate move by the US Air Force to remind both allies and adversaries of its enduring power projection capabilities. With global tensions rising, especially in regions like the Indo-Pacific and Eastern Europe, the US is leaning heavily on ISR platforms that can outmaneuver electronic warfare systems and detect threats across multiple domains. The U-2's ability to operate in contested environments makes it a key player in any scenario involving anti-access-slash-area denial A2AD strategies. Critically, the U-2 is not simply coasting on its past reputation. The latest U-2S variants have undergone major upgrades, including the Avionics Tech Refresh ATR, and Open Mission Systems OMS integration. These updates allow the aircraft to communicate more effectively with fifth-generation platforms such as the F-35 and upcoming NGAD aircraft. They also improve onboard computing power, enabling the use of AI-assisted data processing and real-time threat analysis, a far cry from the analog systems of the past. In 2025, the U-2 is still flying missions along the US-Mexico border to monitor drug cartel activity and assist DHS operations. It remains active in the Indo-Pacific, where its long-range surveillance helps monitor Chinese military activities in contested maritime zones. Its ability to cover large areas without the vulnerability of satellites or drones makes it a strategic multiplier for US intelligence networks. Ultimately, the Dragon Lady's appearance at Riot 2025 is not just about nostalgia or public relations. It is about signaling continued dominance in ISR, celebrating 70 years of operational excellence, and proving that with the right upgrades, even the oldest platforms can remain indispensable in the face of next general threats. The U-2 continues to fly not because of history, but because it still delivers unmatched results where it matters most, above the battlefield. How long can the U-2 remain relevant in an era of hypersonic drones and AI warfare? Could it play a role in future conflicts over Taiwan, Ukraine, or the Arctic? Share your thoughts in the comments. Thank you for listening to Global Defense News and Analysis. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon to stay updated on the latest military aviation developments and global defense news. Your support helps us deliver in-depth insights into the world's most powerful defense technologies.